Hello, this is The Watchdog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today, we're going to review the Pagani Design PD-1719 homage to Doxa 300 Sub. Let's start out with the wrist check. I'm wearing a Timex TW5K94000 Iron Man. I found this at Walmart for $10 on clearance, so I thought that was a pretty good deal, and maybe I'll review it sometime. And Grogu is wearing my Forcening TM417G. Grogu was talking to the Academy lunch lady. She says she used to be Governor Tarkin's housekeeper. Grogu said that must have been horrible. She said he wasn't such a bad guy when he was home, and he was really kind to his wife, who was the only one who was ever allowed to call him by his first name, Wilhuff. Things were only bad when Tarkin's brother, Wado, was around, because Mrs. Tarkin couldn't stand him. One day when she was upset, he asked her what was wrong. She said, Wado Tarkin's about, Wolf. Let's take a look at the watch. Here it is. Isn't this a nice looking watch? I really like it. Yeah, that's really sharp. This year, the AliExpress homage world was pleasantly surprised with two new homages for a Doxa 300 sub. One from Tactical Frog and the other from Seastern. I gave both watches a pass as they were just a bit pricey for me and I am self-funded and it gets a little bit more difficult to sell watches when they are much above that $100 sweet spot. But then Pagani Design got into the action with this more affordable PD-1719 so I decided that it was my turn to review a Doxa homage. I picked it up for $111 during the last big AliExpress sale which I thought was a pretty good price. It's going for a bit more now, but it's still cheaper than the competition. Pagani Design has seemed to put some extra effort into this as it has a full 300 meters water resistance when most Pagani Design dive style watches only have 100. It also has a NH38, which eliminates the go state position, and it also has AR coating on the sapphire crystal. There are three different colorways, a dark blue, Tiffany blue, and an orange. I chose the orange because I think the color really fit this style of watch. Plus, the orange came with an extra orange NATO strap, where the other two colors came with the Bond NATO that I have in abundance. The watch is 42.4 millimeters when you measure at the case. It's 38.1 millimeters when you measure at the bezel. It has a 45.2 millimeter lug to lug, which is uh, pretty short considering the case size. It is 14 millimeters thick and that includes the dome sapphire crystal. It has a 20 millimeter lug width and weighs 160 grams on the supplied bracelet with two links removed, so it's a little heavy. The bezel is a still 120 click unidirectional with two scales. The outer scale is a decompression scale, which is designed to tell you how long you can stay at a depth level without needing decompression. I really am not uh, going to explain how it works. You'll just have to look it up. And then the inner uh, bezel is just a typical timing bezel. They're both linked together. They don't move separately. When I unboxed this, I thought they moved separately, which is why I pointed out that the bezel was kind of not right. And I was incorrect. In a real Doxa, they do, they are joined. So they do not move separately. So I was incorrect. One thing about this decompression bezel is it's in meters where the real Doxa is in feet. I can kind of understand why Pagani Design did it this way though. By doing meters, they were able to use one less number on each one. Because this would have been 180 in meters. So I think that that's fine. Once again, you're never going to use this for real diving anyway. It's just kind of nice to have. Unfortunately though, there's not a loom pip. Or, a, or any. neither one of these dots are loomed either which is kind of odd because what good is a timing bezel if you don't have at least a loom indicator at the home position because then you can't see it in the dark. The bezel action is nice but it's a little light and you'll end up knocking this out of place quite frequently. Just wish it was just a little bit stiffer. But there's not a ton of back play. So other than that, it's good. And it is a true 120 click. It's not a 90 click. 
The orange dial has no sunburst effect. It has the Pagani Design logo applied. As you can see there, it's really thin, but it is applied. It's not printed on. And it doesn't get the Pagani Design name, which it usually does, just the logo. Then on the bottom, it says automatic and then divers 300 meters. Yes, it says divers with the apostrophe S which indicates that it is ISO 6425 certified, and it is indeed not. So, usually Pagani Design doesn't put divers on there, and they follow the rules, but they are breaking the rules by saying divers when it's not certified. For one thing, there's no way it could be certified, because it would have to have some kind of loom indicator at the home position, or it would never pass certification. So there's no way this could actually be certified. And it's too bad because usually Pagani Design doesn't fake it when they put stuff on the dial. But in this case they are. It has applied loom businesses with these little black borders on the side. And of course they're thicker at the 12, 3, 6, and 9. And then it has these hands which have these really unusual tips. They look like little bombs. And then the second hand, instead of a lollipop, it has a square. So I guess that, I guess you could still call it a lollipop tip. It has a sign screw down crown. The thread action is really good in and out. But there's no noticeable pop. Which I don't know if that's a feature of the NH38. Because most NH35s have a really good pop. But going back in is really easy, and you don't feel a lot of thread resistance, and you never have to fight it to start it. So the action's good. This is a dome sapphire crystal, and I'm pretty sure it's double dome, because look, there's really no distortion. When you have a single dome, there's a pretty good distortion when you tilt it. And this does have AR coating. Yes, there's some reflection there, but that's because I have an overhead light that I should probably come up with a better lighting situation for these reviews but I haven't yet so yeah this has got to be double domed because look at that there'd be a ton of distortion if it was single domed then it has a solid steel case it reminds me a lot of a Seiko turtle case it's, it's very similar looking except for of course the crowns at the three then uh, kudos for Pagani Design because they could have just reused their they because they have a turtle homage and they could have just reused that case for this and then but then the crown would have been in the wrong position. So kudos for making sure that the crown was in the right position. Then it's brushed on top, polished on the sides, and believe it or not, it's also polished on the bottoms, which is rare. It has a screw down case back. And the case back has a turtle on it. At first, I assumed that Pagani Design was reusing the case back they used on their turtle homage. But no, because I looked at that case back and the turtle is completely different. So maybe they're acknowledging that the case does look a lot like a turtle. I don't know. Or if they just, just thought it looked cool. Then it says Pagani Design on top. And then it says diver 300 meters see that's what they should have done on the dial say diver not divers this is apostrophe s that makes it say, apply imply that's iso certified and then it just says stainless steel underneath the case back is the nh38 movement this is the non-date version of the nh35 which is a 24 joule 3 hertz movement that hand winds hacks and has a bi-directional rotor and they're usually pretty accurate right off the shelf. I haven't checked this one yet so let's check it now. Here it is on the time grapher and as you can see those are some really good numbers. Plus 2, 0 and 0 again. So yeah this is really accurate right off the shelf. Those are, those are great and as you can see there's a little bit of bead error but not much. And that line is really smooth. So uh, yeah, this is running great. This Beads of Rice bracelet is a true seven link bracelet, which is fully articulating. The links are not attached to each other at all. So that's good. It has solid end links and the end links are pretty short. So they, 
that's pretty good how they were able to do this to keep the lug to lug short the links themselves though are fairly large and unfortunately though there's only three holes of micro adjust and with links this big it would have been nice if they have four but that's okay and it has push pin adjusters and not screw pin and i'm perfectly happy with that most Pagani designs have screw pin and the problem with screw pin is you can always strip them plus sometimes they come out on their own where push pins i've never ever had really an issue with them plus you break a push pin you just put another one in no big deal it's a lot harder to find a screw that fits the clasp has a pressed upper and a milled scissor and it has a safety latch which has the Pagani design logo and it's a double pusher it's a good clasp it's good enough I mean yeah it would have been nice if it would have had a milled upper but at least the at least the scissors milled and it works fine once again I had to remove two links to fit on my seven and a half inch wrist and I was able to re remove a link on each side here's the watch and my seven and a half inch wrist I think it wears really nice it's comfortable wears nice and flat and this bracelet is just so nice looking has a nice shine to it when you do the old wrist roll so yeah it looks good here's the watch on the bonus NATO strap looks nice on the NATO that's really orange but once again, if you get the other colorways, you get the Bond NATO. And if you've had a lot of Pagani designs, you probably have a lot of Bond NATOs. So it's kind of nice to get this orange one. Unfortunately, though, look, I only got one hole left. So if you have a big wrist, this orange one's not going to fit you. But then again, I mean, how expensive is it to get another orange NATO? So it's nice to get this bonus NATO, but... If you have a huge wrist, you'll just have to buy one if you want one on the Orange NATO. But it looks nice. Here we are in the loom room. Oh, Pagani Design. How come you can give us halfway decent loom sometimes and other times you give us loom like this? As we speed up the time, we can see that the hands fade almost immediately. The index loom isn't awful, but once again, what good is index loom if you don't have any hands to see? Also, just the lack of a loom pip or the equivalent is just such a big mistake. So yes, this loom is, I would say, almost as bad as that PD1644 Daytona I reviewed not too long ago. What do I like about this watch? Well, it looks great. It's a really nice looking watch. I like this beads of rice bracelet. I like the fact that it's fully articulating. I like the fact that it has an NH38 on it, which is really accurate. Pagayan Design could have just threw another NH35 with a ghost date in and called it good, but no, they went the extra effort and got an NH38. I like this double dome crystal with AR coating. I like the fact it's just not your typical homage. You don't see a lot of these homages of Docs at sub 300s. What are my grapes and groans? No loom on the pip area. And the hand loom is just awful. Fades almost immediately. Only three holes of micro adjust. And don't say divers unless you're ISO 6425 certified. I don't make the rules there. You could have just left off the apostrophe S and said diver. Like you did on the case back. Do I recommend this watch? Sure. Once again, nobody buys a Pagani design for the loom. If loom's important to you, get the tactical frog or the Seastern. But other than that, this is a really good watch. It looks nice, has a great crystal, great bracelet, wears good, has a NH38 movement. So yeah, this watch is good. So go ahead and get this if you like it, as long as you're not expecting great loom. Well, thank you for watching my review of the Pagani Design PD1719, homage to a Doxa 300 sub.
and I will be back with another review. More than likely that forcing that Grogu is wearing right now. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.